this plant just look like sticks actually here's some of it here that I cut out and this is just growth for the last maybe couple of weeks but there's also one really big one that I don't know what happened to and I've been meaning to come out here and cut this sucker let's see if I can let you see that it's just barely got this part left holding it on and it's keeping it alive so I'm gonna cut it down there and then we can try and root this to share with somebody else at the plant trade and that will be a good trade very large probably two and a half maybe three foot long and it should root we have a couple weeks I think these root pretty well so we shall see always good to trade and share with other people what you have I think I have one more that I want to check to see and I'll bring you along if I do decide to get that going too I don't know how much you could see with all those weeds in there all that dollar weed I don't know how to get rid of it because I don't want to put a bunch of toxic sprays everywhere so if you have a better option than just hand picking that would be great and I will show y'all probably soon the semi easier way I've seen to get rid of them well I figured out how to do but I wanted to give you a good view of this because I didn't figure you'd be able to see just for one how big it is and for the fact that it grew straight 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 until it fell over probably a windstorm we've had quite a few and then it decided to take a curve and grow up straight itself so this plant is very hardy very durable so if you can't grow anything get you one of these because this is a survivor so this is my new variegated pineapple mint and I think there's a few people who are interested in getting that in a trade and this thing has doubled if not tripled very quickly so I am going to just take some clippings of the taller pieces and then I'll show you what we need to do next for one thing I want to take off all these bottom leaves I'll take you to the back and show you how we do this all right i am running out of light and don't have the best angle but we're gonna make do with what we got so these they're maybe two inches long they should be okay mint likes to spread of any kind so i'm gonna take most of these leaves off and use them in another way after I wash them and then I'm going to put some rooting hormone on them mainly I'm gonna put it on this because that plants swap is really soon it's just in a couple of weeks so I'd really like these to be rooted and show me that they're doing good before I trade them with anybody for anything even if there's as little bitty too so I just have a little bit of rooted hormone on there I'll probably take these little babies off too you just carefully do it and I've learned to get these I got a huge stack of these from Amazon I'll see if I can link them below um, I've used the round ones for my trades or plants that I'm willing to give away or whatever and then I keep the square ones for myself so I've just got some regular old pot and soil in here and I'm gonna put that pretty deep so it stands up and just cover it back up and then I will water this very well I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to these other two and then I'll get back to you and show you what they look like all right so this is what we ended up with and as you can see we got quite a decent sized little harvest as well so harvest and propagation 
and getting to share with our plant friends so they don't have to buy the same plants as me and I don't have to buy the same plants as them and we can all share and it works out lovely for everyone I'm gonna see if I can set you up to demonstrate for the Texas star hibiscus and it's pretty much the same way it's just going to be on a bigger scale see you in a minute okay so i did go ahead and remove the leaves hmm. at least halfway back up this star hibiscus don't know what you can see but that's a rough 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 cut so i'm gonna cut it give it better chances and I am going to cut it at a bit of an angle to have more surface area here for the rooting hormone and I'm going to just put it in here as well and I can link a rooting hormone I like a little bit better than this this is just what I saw so I grabbed it and we will stick that in a lot larger pot so it can stay upright as well and water them all thoroughly and I'll show you in just a moment all right so everybody's late uh, watered and this worked out very well in this size pot I think it's a gallon pot and it seems to stand up right in that so I'm very happy I've got it well watered last thing I'll have to do is label them I will leave them out here in the cotton up table which gets mostly shade that way it can just focus on regrowing roots which is what it needs to do for the next couple of weeks and hopefully everybody gets rooted and just in case you're wondering I can try to link these below these are really expensive for my taste but they are worth it I can cut through whatever I want and I have had no problems with them just make sure you spray them with alcohol don't mind my dogs they see the neighbors hi go lay down and spray them with alcohol in between each cut that way you don't transplant uh, transfer any diseases that a plant might have and hope you enjoyed this video well like I said I am quickly losing light so I am going to wrap this up while I water because I have to get this done before going inside um, let me know what kind of videos you're interested in seeing we kind of do a little bit of everything around here that you can think of canning preserving growing I grow lots of things I have orchids I'm not that great at them, but I've gotten blooms. And if you're interested in seeing those, let me know. If you're interested in seeing the chickens, or seeing us clean up that hot mess, or that hot mess, which has to be done, you can work right along with me, or just get some motivation. So let me know what you're interested in, because I'd be happy to share. We're pretty open about what we do around here. And I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Well, I got distracted while I was watering. Just look at that. Isn't that lovely? You see the bloom at the top opening up? It's rather neat. And look how dark they get when they're older absolutely lovely i have a video about this plant with a little bit of information not much but i'll link that so you can check it out and where i got it bye bye